Twitter, Facebook. What's what we do on the bathroom? And gaming. Gaming has come to mobile devices, and it's become a, well, let's face it, serious form of gaming now. People everywhere are playing anything from the tiniest little game to scaled down versions of full games that we play on a console or computer. So that's what uh, we've come to. And that's why I bring you our mobile monthly. Hey guys, so thanks for joining us with our first episode of our Mobile Monthly. Today we are bringing you Jurassic Park Builder. So this is uh, one of my favorites, uh, one of the games I tend to play quite a bit. And yeah, we'll check it out here. So we start out, you've got your little entrance to the island. You've got our little mini uh, Ford Explorers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, moving on over here we've got the uh, Food Harbor. So these guys bring in the food. as that you need for your dinosaurs. You got your meat and you got your plants, so pretty simple. As you can see, it costs you money. And then uh, over here we've got a few dinosaurs. And you've also got buildings, so they put a decent amount of detail into them. If you check out here, you can see actually a little roller coaster moving around. Ferris wheels moving, lava's going over there. You got waterfall going. And uh, yeah, a little flashy lights in the arcade there. Bounce castle, circus. So yeah, as you can see, everything's a little bit animated, which is cool. And of course, as any other little city builder, everything earns you money as you go. So the dinos earn you money. The buildings earn you money. And uh, yeah, we're going to check out our uh, little dino over here. So the dinosaurs evolve as you go. So this one's rated 4 stars, so it's fully evolved. As they evolve, they also change color. So they start kind of bland and move on. And right here we've got one that's ready to evolve, so we're going to check them out. So, um, you can have your friends help you. And you've got to complete these DNA sequences, and they all cost you a different amount of money. So you can see this one's 18,000, which is quite a bit. And uh, sometimes it hurts, so you got to keep trying. And there we go, we got another sequence. And see, as you can see, um, when one fails, you get a little bit of experience. But then also, you could pay a buck to complete it, and that is where the real money comes in, which is how they make the money on this game. So, now we got to wait a little while for this guy to hatch. And as you can see, this guy over here, he's a plain one. And uh, we've got these little things here, which can up your money. So, we've got this lava pit and this bridge, and as you can see, they show a plus percentage for the building. Also works with dinosaurs, and that's uh, basically the main cause of used for the decorations we got here. So we're going to check out a little, uh, little bit of each dino we got here in the park. Pterodactylus. Got some pterodons. Uh, Edmontosaurus. Got Brontosaurus. Which isn't a real dinosaur, by the way. But, you know, hey, can't be perfect. We got, uh, that's a Dryosaurus, he's about to hatch there. It's gonna take a little while. We got the Camerosaurus. Corthiosaurus. And as you can see, each little dinosaur has its own little animation. Uh, Kelly Mimus here, they do a little squawking around. Oh, and this conveniently, we're able to hatch little packies here, so uh, I think we're gonna feed them. And show you a uh, full-on level up. So every five levels, they will grow in size. Every 10, they're ready to evolve. So once we hit 30 here, I can evolve them again, get another color change. Collect from a few buildings here as we're going. Brachiosaurus. Sound taken directly from the movie, which I love. That's awesome. And boom, mission complete. So obviously there's little missions to earn certain stuff, and they all have to do with uh, characters from the movie. So we've got Kelly here. She's kind of our little dino dinosaur activist slash uh, video recorder wants us to pretty up the uh, joint here. 
and uh, as you can see you've got the different dollars here you can buy so there's those bucks I was telling you about and then you can convert them for different stuff food money etc here we show off some of the actual dinosaurs so this as far as I know I have all the dinosaurs unlocked um, excluding some of the exclusive you know only available for three day kind of guys like the uh, carnotaurs and so forth was lucky to get a few of those um, we got the stegosaurus um, as well as the Uteranus, uh, which is one of my favorites. Cyclone through here. So there we go, ends a Dryosaurus, so uh, apparently hit the max there on our land dinosaurs. And just give a quick little browse the whole catalog, all the available modifiers here. You can see they say how far they cover by squares, and you've got your bonuses. Got dinosaur screaming in the background. Here, little Dilophosaurus going off and the rafters. Pretty close to them, actually. We'll get to them here in a minute. And there we go. The active volcano that would be giving us the best bonus there. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to place down these blue flowers like we need to for the mission. We'll zoom out here. And, uh, we'll just stick them over here in the corner where the Dryosaurus are going to hatch soon. So, collect that, and boom, mission complete. Blah, blah, blah. You know, there's not really a story to it. They try to do a little quest thing about, like, uh, DNA thief and stuff, and, eh, you know, it's, we don't play this for the story. You play for the impulse of collecting things and nostalgia value. So, uh, for this next mission here, she wants us to expand, so, uh, don't have enough money. So what I'm gonna do here is collect from a couple of our, uh, dinos and stuff over here. Looking for, yep, yeah, don't have an expansion, so yeah. Collect until we hit the mount we need. And, uh, let's see what we got here. A little bit more. And, uh, I think that about does it. So there we go. You can see a little detail here. They Nothing moves around or anything, but they kind of chop some tree down, throw a uh, bulldozer in there, make it look like a little construction science. Yeah, it was cool. And, uh, let's see, we got our carnivores down over here, we check them out. So we got our little Dilophosaurus, Jurassic Park Classic. Um, sounds a little off there, sound like a T-Rex, but hey. And Ciatrosaurus, and we got Baryonyx here, um, he's about ready to hatch, so I'm gonna use that buck there. And, uh, boom, there he is. So let's see if we got enough meat here to, uh, level up to 25, watch him grow. Okay, well, we ran out of meat, so that's not gonna happen. Anyways, we got the Archanthosaurus. Tridontosaurus. He's a uh, level 2 there. Nice and color. Our Raptors, of course. They've been leveled up twice. Gotta love those classic Jurassic noises. And we got a little, you know, decorations and stuff hanging out here. A little bubbly aquarium. So they put details in a little bit of stuff, you know. Uh, we got the compies there, they're about to level up. Gonna take a little off of them to hatch. There's the Uteranus told you about, so they do these exclusive dinosaurs. Um, you can only get them at a certain time, and they're only available for three to five days. If you don't get them within that time, you gotta wait till the next time, I'm assuming. Since uh, originally the Uteranus came out, I guess, last year? And uh, he just came out a couple weeks ago, so... Uh, it makes me think you do have multiple uh, chances to get the exclusives, which is cool. Because I'm really hoping to get the Carnotaurus. And uh, for our undersea expansion, you'll see here shortly, I uh, would also like to get the Megalodon, because what isn't cool about a giant shark? Anyway, so we got this little guy over here, Tyrannosaurus. He's pretending to be a Stegosaurus, apparently. And, uh, oh yeah, we're gonna head over here to the big guys, so. Collect you some stuff, we got our awesome little volcano there. Check that out. And then we are followed by the king of all dinosaurs. Mr. Tyrannosaurus Rex. There's that classic Jurassic Park sound. Everyone loves. Uh, I like them, really honestly, I like the amount of detail they made. You know, it's. They did a really good job. The dinosaurs they could for them, uh, could grab the sound files from the movie. They obviously did. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So, we're gonna head down to our underwater park here and, uh, check it out. Loading times aren't exactly the best, but they're not too bad. So same deal, we've got our little park entrance, people shop, 
We got a little submarine, same JP colors, which is awesome. Zoom out here, we got the uh, fishery and uh, krill factory, or shrimp factory, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these guys here were also an exclusive three-day thing. I got lucky and was able to get them with the uh, bucks I had earned. And uh, they're pretty cool. Play the carpus over here. Just level him up to level two, and he's got these uh, pretty colors, so that's kind of neat. And got different buildings, apartments, security towers, uh, turbines. So we got a little amnomite here. These guys are the first uh, war dinosaurs to get. Uh, basically, plated fish. Pretty cool. About the size of like a school bus, which is awesome. And, uh, sorry, I can't help but collect things here. We got a Chronosaurus. There you go, swimming off our camera view. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. We got him, so those guys are always awesome. I uh, wasn't too happy about the eyes on him, but, you know, hey, can't be perfect. A little Tylosaurus. Fun little lizard reptile dinosaur looking. Some little turtle dudes over here. Uh, Cephaderma, I believe, is the proper way to say the name. Uh, just leveled them up. They're pretty costly. Oh, here we go. There's a fish building. Oh, we fish. There we go. We got uh, Ian Malcolm. So, like I said, they pulled a lot of characters from the movies. Um, stuck them in here, which, uh, you know, helps for nostalgia value. It doesn't even necessarily make sense. And that was an underwater expansion, so now you guys can actually see on the flip side how this works. So with land, um, as you clear these little um, debris out of the way, you can find amber. You decode the amber. And then when you clear stuff here, what you do is you send out submarines. And the submarines you send out, um, if you've recently cleared an area, have a small chance of bringing back a DNA sample as a frozen, um, I guess, prehistoric um, lamprey. So got that going on. Lampreys, those little sucky things with razor teeth, kind of look like something out of a horror film. So, uh, the way the subs work, though, unlike the amber, it's not guaranteed. Um, if you put out three different types of submarines, there's one where one capsule will be taken back, there's one where two capsules, and there's one where all three capsules will be full. So sometimes you might get one capsule, and it's not the DNA sample, which, of course, then they offer it to you. And that's a little unfortunate, because it's going to be 99 bucks, which is, like, 20 real dollars. Kind of sucks. I love this big guy right here. He's awesome. Let's see, Xyz. But, uh, yeah. So, that's kind of their way of sneaking a little bit of money out of you. But, you know, you can't blame them. It's a free app. They put a lot of work into it. Uh, it's kind of a shame to see it's not that active. So, we're going to take a look through here. Um, also, the little shark guy we just passed. Um, he's a exclusive as well. Got here. And then, uh, these last three here. Last four. Um, so the turtles through the um, ichthyosaur over here, they don't exist on the website uh, for the game, so I don't know if they're recently released or if the website just stopped updating mid last year. Um, but yeah, so we're going to hop back up to the surface here. And, uh, you know, take a view over the whole park, this and that. Check out uh, the red alert. So I'm sure that little flashing thing in the corner was uh, catching guys' attention. This is a little mini game within the game. Uh, your dinosaurs basically go nuts, and you have a certain amount of time to click on them before they go insane and rip through the cage. Uh, I don't know what they do when they rip through the cage, but I've invested so much of my free time into this game that I don't really want to find out. Um, I'm sure the game tells you, but I didn't pay attention the first time. I'll be honest about that. But you know, it's not. Ex exciting game, but uh, when you have as many carnivores as I do, sometimes you gotta jump around pretty quick, and it's uh, not always so easy. So, it's uh, <laughs> definitely uh, can be a little bit nerve-wrenching, but nothing extraordinary. It's tap and point, scroll, tap, scroll, tap, you know, it's not the craziest game. Uh, cool thing is it rewards you money, so um, it's one of the easiest ways to earn some quick cash. The more carnivores you have, um, the more expensive it gets to level them up, the more hungry they're going to be, the more often you can do the red alerts, and the more often you get some free cash for playing a little mini game. So uh, for someone who doesn't want to spend all day clicking on everything, uh, red alert's an alternate way to get yourself some money in a two minutes time span and uh, buy something new. So. As you can see, uh, they even do a lot of animation for all the dinos going nuts. The raptors attack the fences, which I thought was cool. Uh, the other dinosaurs kind of slam up against them and stomp around and headbutt, uh, which is kind of cool. They attack each other if there's two in the cage, like the raptors. 
See it right there. Kind of missed it in the corner, but they attacked each other. Attacked the fence. Yelled at each other. Trodons are attacking each other up there in the corner. So, that's kind of a cool thing. Um, they got the lightning and the rain. Um, it's kind of a lot going on for just, you know, your basic, like, little, uh, builder sim impulse game, you know. Uh, I don't see Farmville with, uh, lightning storms and crazy dinosaurs roaring. You know, your cows don't attack each other and murder people. Maybe if it did, Farmville would be a little more interesting. But anyways, um, see, there we go. 52,000, not too shabby. And, uh, yeah. So we'll check out a little quest log here. So we've got John Hammond, uh, Malcolm, Dr. Wu, and uh, Alan Grant, Dr. Grant, whatever you want to refer to him as, and then, of course, Kelly, which we saw earlier. So, yeah, they pulled a couple of the main characters. Uh, they left a few out, I don't know, by choice. They couldn't contract their faces. Who knows? But uh, it was kind of cool that they did that, like I said before. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode of the Mobile Monthly. Um, with one of my favorite childhood series, Jurassic Park, and uh, we will see you guys next time.